What is up YouTube, NerdGamer Productions here once again with a special video, a new show for you guys called The Weekly Wrap-Up. There's my awesome logo, in case you guys didn't notice. Uh, so what The Weekly Wrap-Up is, Weekly Wrap-Up is, is basically uh, the nerd news sort of series I had back then uh, where I would post uh, news stories about you know stuff happening through the week. This is the evolved version of it, you could say, where I'm just gonna uh, talk about everything that happened, well not everything, but the main topics that had main news stories that happened uh, over the week, uh, related to gaming of course, and even if it's not gaming, just stuff that I want to talk about. And why should you check out the weekly wrap up on NGP? Very simple. Uh, the big gaming news people on YouTube uh, channels like IGN, Machinima, GameSpot, you know, the channels that have five, six million subscribers, the big guys, they ain't working, they ain't working on the weekends, so, uh, yeah, they're out, out playing with their kids, uh, watching movies, whatever the hell they're freaking doing, you know, their asses ain't working on the weekends, but NGP ain't got no weekends, alright, so, uh, we're gonna be posting videos, Hopefully every week on the week on the weekend. Sometimes we'll miss it, but anyways, yeah. So if you have that YouTube crunch for uh, some gaming news on the weekend, make sure to stop by here at the weekly wrap up on Nerd Gamer Productions. So let's get started with the weekly wrap up. So we got five items on this week's edition of the weekly wrap up. So let's start off. Let's start off right away. First item of the weekly wrap up: Deadpool is dead. Yup. I said it, Marvel decided to kill off the unkillable. So let me explain, of course. Uh, Deadpool's recent, uh, well, yeah, Deadpool's comic book series as of right now, the one that's being published, uh, I believe, last month, they released a, uh, Volume 6. Uh, yeah, Deadpool's recent comic book uh, series is going to end pretty soon, I believe, in the coming months, and it's going to end with Deadpool dying. Which is very strange because Deadpool can't really die. But either way, it's weird timing that they're doing this. And this is pretty normal uh, in comic books where Wolverine died last year in his series. Uh, and the Fantastic Four comic book series got kind of cancelled. But then these characters always come back in, this, in their rebooted form. So that's probably what's going to happen to Deadpool, of course. Uh, he's not definitely not gone for good, especially with this movie coming out next year. So that's the weird timing. Uh, that they're killing off this character in the comic book series and then they're gonna form the they're gonna make the movie next year so it's very weird timing but either way what's strange about this news is that there's a rumor going on and I hope this rumor is not true because it's very upsetting to me and lots of other people uh, that are into Deadpool the rumor is that they are canceling well that they're finishing off the recent Deadpool series and then there's an intent to re reboot his series in the next, maybe next year, two years from now. Uh, reboot a new Deadpool, a PG-13 kid-friendly Deadpool. <sighs> yep. And the reason, the re their reason for wanting to do this is so they have sort of an excuse, you could say, to make a PG-13 Deadpool movie. Yep. <sighs> Not cool. Uh, the reason why I'm upset about this news is because Deadpool, Deadpool is like the porn star of Marvel, okay? He is not for kids in terms of the content, he's a very adult, he, he's the punisher of our times, he's very, he's for adults, he, there's lots of uh, adult comedy in his stories, there's a lot of violence, uh, his Deadpool video game came out last year two years ago it was rated M very violent so Deadpool is definitely not a PG-13 character and it's very strange that they would be <clears throat> sort of rebooting this kid-friendly Deadpool you know to make money off him so kids can co-watch his movie so that's not cool very upsetting but either way that's the news Deadpool is being killed off in the comic books so that's that's what's going on there so the second item on the weekly wrap-up deals with Grand Theft Auto 5 being delayed on the PC now, this news came out late last week, but it was late last week, so I'll consider, I'll, that's why I put it into this week's weekly wrap-up. Uh, yeah, it was, an it was originally scheduled to be released on January 27th, which is this 
Tuesday, this Tuesday, but was pushed to March of this year. And the reason why this is big news, aside from another game being delayed, which everybody has been sick of, there's been lots of game delays in the past months, things like uh, Batman Arkham Knight, Watch Dogs last year, um, Bloodborne, big, big video games being pushed back. Hope, uh, thankfully, this is only a, you know, like a month, month and a half delay. Um, the other games have much, much bigger uh, time intervals and being delayed. But any, either way, uh, yeah, Grand Theft, Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5 coming out in March of this year on the PC. Even though it's a, another delay, and you know we're not fans of delays and everything, but it's pretty good news because that means we're gonna, the PC players are gonna get a good, a, probably the best Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 5 version of the game. Uh, that's out. Well, that's gonna be out. So yeah, that's the second news item. So let's get on with item number three. Uh, the new Nintendo 3DS. Yes, that is its real name. I. That is a horrible name. But either way, the new Nintendo 3DS is coming to America next month, February, early February. Um, I don't think they have an exact date. They might have it, but it's early February of uh, this year, which is next month. And the only there's two versions of the new Nintendo 3DS. There's the XL, and there's the normal one. And the only one that the U.S. is getting is the XL version. So, yeah, the differences differences in the two versions, of course, being the bigger screen. Uh, there's also cosmetic differences, which uh, I'm going to get to uh, in terms of my opinion on if this is cool or not. Uh, but the normal version, while not coming to the U.S., has these customizable face plates that you can put on the front and back. And they have lots of them. Uh, yeah, I saw a screenshot earlier of all the different ones you can choose uh, in Japan, and they're very cool. And it sucks that the U.S. is not getting that version of the DS because of the new new Nintendo 3DS because I personally think it's nicer looking than the XL. Even though, of course, the bigger screen size is always better, but yeah, it sucks. Hopefully, they do release both versions soon or you know eventually. But yeah, either way, it's just cool that we're getting a new Nintendo 3DS because uh, they are improving the 3D effect where now the, there's a little face tracking device on the front. So in case you move it, uh, it'll, the 3D effect won't blur out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool anyways. So yeah, that's the third news item. Uh, new Nintendo 3DS next month, February of 2015 in America. So let's talk about the fourth... Thanks. <clears throat> so let's get on to the fourth item of the weekly wrap-up. Uh, H1Z1 being the MMO RPG first-person open-world zombie shooter that's literally, it's all those things combined. H1Z1, uh, if you guys don't know too much about it, definitely check it out. It looks like a cool game, but the reason why it's on the list is because it's been having lots of problems. Uh, it came out last Thursday for the PC in its early access stage, which is basically the demo version of the game. And this is another reason why PC kind of uh, confuses me a little bit. Uh, but I've heard it's pretty common for this to happen where they would release the early access version of these games and then you have to pay for it, so I believe it's $15 for the early access of H1Z1. And then it's, it's, a, it's not finished, the game's not finished. Uh, it's going to be glitchy and messed up, and you have to pay for it. And H1Z1 is a free-to-play game. That's how it's been advertised. It is going to come to the PS4 eventually, and I also believe on the PS3. And it's going to be a free-to-play game, so it's weird how you would have to pay for the demo. But I guess PC players are used to that. But either way, it's been having problems. I don't, I don't know if it's still having problems, but uh, it just sucks that you know these these games that you know get all this hype and stuff happen to. Not work. So H1Z1 is broken. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. Release the full game for the PlayStation, PC, and all that stuff. So that's the fourth item. So the last item on the weekly wrap up. Uh, this is pretty old news, but I decided to put it in to the weekly wrap up because uh, it's pretty interesting news, uh, especially for me. I'm a big fan of this, so <clears throat> let's get to it. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know about IGN, which is the sort of head honcho of gaming of a gaming channel on YouTube uh, it is you, you'll get news videos you'll get gameplays it's 
if you're if you watch YouTube a lot and you're a gamer, you know what IGN is. And the four people from IGN, Greg Miller, Colin Moriarty, Nick Scarpino, and Tim Geddes, um, they're all very well-known people in IGN, and they all left IGN to pursue their own YouTube channel called Kind of Funny, and also this alternate YouTube channel called Kind of Funny Games. So this is pretty strange news because uh, Greg Miller, I would consider Greg Miller like the like the Leonardo DiCaprio of gaming on YouTube. Like he's pretty well known. He has this personality to him. He's He's a popular guy, popular guy, and for him to step down on a very, very famous, uh, popular YouTube channel where I'm sure he makes a lot of money. I'm sure now that he backed out of IGN to form Kind of Funny, I'm sure he's gonna definitely make less money. But it, that's that's very strange, and you know, I like IGN. I like those guys a lot. It sucks that they left, but yeah, that's cool. So check out Kind of Funny. That's your YouTube channel. Very cool stuff. And yeah, that's everything I got for this week's weekly wrap up. So you got comic book stuff with Deadpool being dead, you got Grand Theft Auto V being delayed on PC, you got the new Nintendo 3DS coming to America next month, H1Z1 having problems with the early access, and then uh, Greg Miller and all their all his buddies leaving IGN to form kind of funny. So yeah, that was a weekly wrap up guys, thank you for watching, and 